Hey everyone, welcome to Prosperous Life Finance where I help educate you in becoming a better trader and investor. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Lordstown Motor Stock. Now before we start, once again, I would love to thank each and every one of you guys for all the ongoing support and once again, we are on the road to 400 subscribers. Now in case you guys are new here, I would really appreciate it if you guys go ahead and give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel as I plan on creating the largest community of like-minded traders and investors all in one place. I want all of us as a family to continue to grow and expand within our investing journey. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Now starting right off, I do want to talk about the design, which I think is actually a very, very nice design for an all-electric commercial pickup truck. As we can see here on the front page, you are able to scroll through different pictures in order to see this very nice and elegant design. And right under that, there is an actual video which actually shows this electric vehicle truck in action. Right under that, we do have a visual of how large their working space is. As you can see, it says the electrification epicenter. It says over 6.2 million square feet of working space in the heart of America. And you can go ahead and click learn more in order to get more information about that. Right under that, you actually have a calculator, which shows the initial operating cost comparison between the endurance pickup truck and a Ford F-150 Lariat four-wheel drive. So starting right off with this comparison, we see how the initial cost is very similar with just about an under $1,000 price difference. And as we can see, we are currently going to compare these two vehicles as if you were to own them for five years. A very interesting thing is that the fuel cost is much, much cheaper for the endurance vehicle as compared to the other Ford pickup truck. As we can see, the fuel cost for the Ford pickup truck is over $14,278. And for the Lordstown motor vehicle, it is around five thousand two hundred dollars we even see a difference within the maintenance cost as the endurance vehicle is a lot lower as compared to the ford truck and the very great thing is the total difference across the five-year ownership we see how there's a difference of around nineteen thousand one hundred and seventy eight dollars so right off the bat we notice how there is a huge difference in cost of ownership over the years now that's one thing which i personally like due to the fact that i would rather pay more up front in order to save money in the long run than to pay a little bit less and actually be paying a lot more over a longer period of time so i do like how they include this as it is a simple clean layout which allows you to compare all of the operating costs within these two pickup trucks so now we're going to be taking a look at the lordstown motors investor presentation which is available on the company's website now this is actually a very brand new presentation which at the time of the recording it actually just released about a couple of days ago so starting off down here we're going to have more information about the transaction summary now this is great because this gives you an overall look of some transaction highlights so that you can have an overview of the upcoming presentation so here on the left we actually have the lordstown team and on the right we're going to have the transaction highlights now the very first thing is the offering size now this company is going to be traded on the nasdaq exchange under the ticker symbol dphc as you can see diamond peak is a publicly listed special purpose acquisition company with over 280 million dollars in cash and under that we have a pipe size of 500 million dollars which is inclusive of 75 million dollars to be invested by general motors which is actually very huge since general motors has been around for quite a while and as you can see it says 965 million dollars electric vehicle with a strong balance sheet we will see that it implies an attractive valuation versus peer averages under that we have the capital structure and it says that lordstown will have 675 million dollars of cash to fund operations operations and growth and under that it says no additional capital requirements expected between now and going to market to achieve positive cash flow and rather that we have the breakdown of the ownership when it comes to the company which includes the amount of existing shareholders the SPAC and founders shares and also the pipe investors and as you can see diamond peak says that it views lordstown as a unique opportunity to invest in a revolutionary vehicle manufacturing platform with a proven management team so let's go ahead and dive deeper into this investor presentation so now we're taking a look at this slide that says revolutionary vehicle for an underserved market as we can see this is the value proposition to fleet operators it is revolutionary it is simple it is cost effective and it taps the underserved commercial fleet market the proprietary hub motor technology is unique in the market and provides a robust safe and stable ride it also says four drivetrain parts one on each wheel versus thousands for a comparable combustion engine model now as you can see it says lower cost versus pickups available today after factoring in fuel and maintenance savings for a significantly improved total cost of ownership and lastly it says that the competitor pickup models focused on hybrid electric vehicles will be sold at premium price points and target a different customer base under that one great thing that they have is an overview of the key strategic relationships and the selected pre-order customers we see how how they are partners with General Motors, Goodyear, Samsung, and Workhorse. Workhorse is also working along with this company, which is a great thing. And this is a stock which I actually covered and I also like myself. And here on the right, we actually have some of the selected pre-order customers, which include large companies such as Clean Fuels Ohio, Duke Energy, and First Energy. So this slide right here actually explains how it is a startup culture with the assets of an established manufacturer. Now, as we can see, they have a unique and efficient design, as it says, leveraging proven components and innovative technology to offer the first full-size electric pickup truck. And under here, we actually have some more specifications of this endurance pickup truck. In the middle, we do see how they have a world-class executive team as it says proven track record of successfully developing and launching automobile platforms 
and here we actually have some more information about all of the executive team including the ceo steve burns and on the right side we have the high speed to market they have an estimated annual vehicle capacity of over 600,000 vehicles and under that they have a drivable prototype complete virtual crash testing which is five stars and their direct sales model so continuing on this investor presentation we see how they have these wonderful graphs which actually gives you a visual representation of the projected growth of the electric vehicle industry now as we see right here on the left side it says how electric vehicles are projected to grow at a 30 to a 35 percent compounding annual growth rate to the year 2030 providing a long-term tailwind and it also says how electric vehicle penetration is expected to hit 60 percent in the united states by the year 2040 so we can actually see an underlying trend of how the electric vehicle industry is continuing to increase and is going to continue to grow at a compounding rate here we see how it's a profitable target segment in an attractive market like here on the left side we do have a few descriptions which say that they are targeting the fleet market they are focused on electric light duty trucks they are actually highly priced competitive and they already have in about 1.4 billion dollars of existing pre-orders and under that you see how they have the potential to enter the suv market over time one great thing i like about these bullet points on the right side under key highlights is that pickup trucks currently stand as the most profitable segment of the auto industry now here we see how it says unique efficient purpose built design it also says clear lane for endurance to launch in an underserved market now here i actually love this representation due to the fact that it gives you a head-to-head -head comparison of many electric vehicle companies that are currently on the market or are going on the market very soon with, with their electric vehicles now the very first thing we see at the top is the launch timing now most of them are within the next year which is the year 2021 or 2022 only lordstown as you can see has a commercial fleet focus and under that you see a question mark which says a full-size pickup and out of all these trucks only lordstown Tesla and Ford have a full-size pickup truck. Now, as you can see here, the three trucks next to the Endurance, which include the Rivion, the Tesla, and the Nikola truck, are all around the $67,000 to $69,000 price point. As compared to the Endurance, its expected price is around $45,000. Now, I wanted to know is that there is a huge difference when it comes to pricing of this truck, which is going to be very interesting to see due to the fact that it's going to be a buying point for many individuals as they are obviously wanting to get a very good truck for an affordable price. Now, one of the most important things that you should always look at before you invest in any business is to always look at the management team. Now, starting right off, one noticeable thing that we see is that all of these individuals are highly experienced and have decades of experience. Now, we can see the CEO, Steve Burns, has over 35 years of experience. The COO has over 25 years of experience. And the CPO actually has over 30 years of experience. And so do the rest of these individuals. Now, obviously, one of the main individuals you want to focus on is going to be Steve Burns, which is their chief executive officer. As you can see, he is the world-class innovator behind every product development developed and sold by Workhorse. And in case you guys did not know, he's a co-founder and former CEO of Workhorse Group, which is actually a stock I covered about a month ago on my YouTube channel, in case you wanna go ahead and watch that video, which is also another very great and wonderful company. Alongside that, we have their COO, who is a dynamic executive with diverse experience in design, engineering, and business development. We also see how he is the former VP of vehicle programs at Workhorse. Alongside that, you have all these other individuals, which also have lots and lots of experience within this industry, and I think are in a very great position to take this company to the next level and continue to grow and expand now taking a look at some of their financials we do see how they are expected to have a 118 million dollar revenue by the year 2021 and have an estimated 5.7 billion dollars in revenue by the year 2024 alongside that we do see how they are planning to profit by the year 2022 going from 139 million dollars in gross profit all the way to 1 billion dollars in gross profit by the year 2024 so one of the very first things we see is how even though they are not profitable just yet they are actually planning to have profit in the very near future which is one thing to look out for now thing to know is that with all of these companies which are relatively relatively new to the overall market is that they are not going to have profit just yet due to the fact that they are going to use all of the money from investors and put it right back into the business in order to expand the company at a larger scale. But one quick notable thing is that in just two years from 2022 to all the way to 2024, the increase in gross profit from $139 million to $1 billion is quite a huge and massive jump. And it's definitely one which I think is possible since the electric vehicle industry is picking up very, very rapidly. And it is obviously one opportunity which all of us as investors want to be part of. Looking at some quick specifications, of this vehicle we do see how the purchase price is going to be around $45,000 their range per charge is around 250 miles and they have a 7,500 pound towing capacity under that we see how they go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds and how they have a 500% improved fuel economy which is equivalent to 75 mpg so right off the bat we do see how alongside from being a very affordable pickup truck we see how they're also delivering within their towing capacity and their speed as they can go from 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds 
So now we're looking at a chart of Diamond Peak Holdings Corporation, which is once again, the way you're going to be able to invest in this company. And as you can see, the ticker symbol is DPHC. So as you can see within the past five days, they were able to make a high of around 41%. And as you can see, it has started to drop off from there. So the stock price is currently around $12.43. Now I currently do not have a position in this stock just yet, but it's definitely one which I'm currently looking at as I have actually invested in other electric vehicle companies recently, such as Hylion. So once again, as I always tell my investors, always perform your own due diligence and extensive research before investing investing in any company. So I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video and were able to get some very valuable information. Once again, if you are new here, go ahead and give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel in order to join the Prosperous Life family as my goal here is to create the largest community of traders and investors in order for all of us to grow and expand within our investing journey. Now I want to go ahead and ask you guys, what do you guys think about this stock and this company overall? Let me know if you guys actually have a position in this stock or actually plan on initiating a position. I would love to hear what you guys think about this company down below in the comments. Now, once again, thank you all for watching. God bless you all and I will see you all in the next video.